Call it trance, suggestion, or hypnosis. There are many ways to describe what are clearly extraordinary states of consciousness. But even after hundreds of years of scientific investigation, we are only beginning to glimpse the reality that lies behind these words. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are different ways of doing hypnosis, and it really depends on the client, how the client responds and what their needs are. There's something called direct suggestion, which is like affirmations, uh, where you repeat them frequently, the same sort of phrase according to whatever the client needs. Uh, there's also regression therapy, so you go back to the cause or the initial sensitizing event to find out what caused that event. Or we might use some systematic desensitization in hypnosis, which lets them walk through it step by step while they're in hypnosis to feel the feeling. And of course, the more you do that, the more the feeling dissipates. And by the end of the session, you find you're not fearful anymore. Now, occasionally it takes two sessions, or well, we've never had three here, but most of the time, a fear can be cleared in one session. Many people would say that it's not necessarily the choice of the therapy, but rather the choice of the therapist that is crucial. It's amazingly simple to hypnotize people. You need a quiet room most of the time. You need to have a subject who is relaxed, has an open mind, is receptive to what you're going to tell them. People tend to assume that their, their conscious experience, their awareness, is like a carbon copy of reality. And one of the things we learn from hypnosis is that it's not, that like their awareness is sort of like virtual reality, and hypnosis can be used to modify that, that virtual reality in fairly far-reaching ways. It's also deep therapeutic trances where we can abreact negative emotions if necessary and get back to a lot of root problems like phobias and things and clear them up as well. It's a lot of things. And just begin to follow your breath. And as you begin to follow your breath, that's right, just go deep inside yourself and find your heartbeat. Hypnosis uh, is a means of bypassing the critical conscious mind and accessing the subconscious mind. It's what we call every day in trance, when we go into trance or when we daydream or when we become creative. It could be people who want to lose weight, who want to quit smoking, or it can be someone who really wants to make a radical change in their life. All I can hear are the leaves on the ground mm -hmm. as I step on them. Mm -hmm. You know what's happening? It really feels like someone is watching me now. Yeah. While the level of awareness of your surroundings may shift to some degree, you'll still always be aware of your surroundings and the hypnotist giving you the suggestions. It's sort of like being at the movies, being immersed in the movie, but still knowing there are people around you and where you are. Deeper, deeper. Hypnosis is a very, very powerful modality. We don't yet know how far we can go with it, but we can go to, you know, we can have extremely impressive results in all sorts of situations. Put very simply, hypnosis is a state of trance in which you choose to become highly responsive to suggestions. During hypnosis, your brain waves move into the alpha range and suggestions are able to bypass your critical conscious mind and access your subconscious mind directly. Why is that important? Well, because your subconscious mind contains all of your emotions, all of your habits, your patterns, both good and bad. We need to find a way to access it. And hypnosis is the most powerful way to do that. And as you walk along that corridor, one of these doorways will beckon you in. And tell me where you are and who you are. Are you inside or outside? Outside. Mm -hmm. you, you know, there are perfectly intelligent people who think they've had all these past lives. You think, what's their problem? Like, how could they believe this? Well, if you had really vivid experiences that were hard to explain, except th that these things must have happened to you, 
What are you gonna think? Hypnosis is like trying to hold on to smoke. The more closely you look at it, the more abstract and strange it becomes, and the harder it is to get your hands around it. Do I believe in past lives? Um, Yes-ish. And I say yes-ish because there is no ultimate proof, although some past lives have been proven. Um, and I really don't care. It doesn't sound too good coming from a past life practitioner, I know. But I don't care if it really is a past life or if it's a metaphor that the mind is making up. But I do know it heals, and I do know it makes changes in people's lives. It's your mind and your goal. And once you've achieved it, you'll have something that no one will be able to take away from you.